You join me today at Middlesbrough Railway Station as I start my adventure on the Tees Valley Line towards Saltburn, stopping at every single station en route. However though, if one train gets cancelled, I will have to skip a station. So let's hope we can get to Saltburn today without any delays. Also, the other reason why I'm going to Saltburn is, is Transparent Express. Because when the December 2024 timetable hits, 95% of the services going towards Saltburn will be cut back to Redcar Central, with one train a day to and from Saltburn. So that's the other reason why I'm doing this line today. So I'm going to head down the platform now to catch my first train, the 0924 Northern service to Saltburn, and the first station we're stopping off at is Southbank. So we have now made it to the first station we are stopping off at today as we head towards Saltburn. This is Southbank. And the first thing I notice around this area is that there's not really much here to be honest. It's all industrial. But what I've noticed with this railway station is it does have two platforms but the platforms here are staggered. And also this station only has an hourly service as well between Middlesbrough and Saltburn. So the current station at Southbank is not the original station. The original station was a bit west from the current location, which you are seeing on screen right now, roughly where the tracks curve off to the left. That station was opened by the North Eastern Railway on the 1st of May, 1882. But that station closed on the 23rd of July, 1984 by British Rail, when they re-sighted the current location we're standing on right now. When that North Eastern Railway station closed, the British Rail station that we're currently standing on opens on the same day. <laughs> to be honest, even though this station is more of an industrial area, it's still a lovely quirky station on the Tees Valley Line. So I'm going to wait for the next train now, the 1028 Northern service to Saltburn. Now unfortunately I can't visit the next station. The next station is Red Car British Steel, but that station is currently mothballed at the moment with services suspended. And plus I couldn't do it anyway because there was a very limited service at that station. So the next station I'm going to is Red Car Central. So I'm going to film my train arriving now and let's head to Red Car Central. So we have now made it to the next station we're stopping off at as we head towards Saltburn. This is one of two stations in Redcar, this is Redcar Central. And this station is the only calling point when Transpan Express do stop between Middlesbrough and Saltburn. But when the December timetable changed, most services will be terminated at this station right here, Redcar Central. Also at Redcar Central, it does have staggered platforms here. It's also got a lovely single box and it's also got a level crossing here as well, which is two things I do like to see at a railway station. So 
There is quite a bit of history at Redcar Central Station, but the current station I'm standing on is not the original station. That station opened as a terminus station on the 5th of June 1846 by the Middlesbrough and Redcar Railway, which was an independent company, but was backed by the Stockton and Darlington Railway and the Great Northern England Railway. The current station I'm standing on dates from 1861. However, though, it only had one platform and caused a massive bottleneck on this part of the line. So a second station was added in 1935 by the London and North Eastern Railway. Now, the 1861 platforms actually closed in the 1980s because the current platform standing on actually dates from the 1980s. And this is why Redcar Central is staggered platforms. However, though, the station wasn't originally called Redcar Central until 1950 when it was made from Redcar to Redcar Central. So I'm now currently standing on the 1935 platform that was added by the London North Eastern Railway. But that building right behind me there, that is the original 1861 station that was opened when the line was extended to Saltburn, that single platform station. Now it's not in railway use anymore, but it is currently going under refurbishment. So I'm going to head over to the other platform now to wait for the next train to Saltburn. And the next station I'm stopping off at today is Red Car East. So we have now stopped off at the first station we're stopping off at today, but this is the second station, Red Car. This is Red Car East Station. And it's just your box standard Northern two platform station unstaffed. But the one thing I've noticed about this station is it's in a lovely built up area. It's very residential around Red Car East Station. The Red Car East was one of the stations that opened a bit later. It actually opened by the London North Eastern Railway on the 8th of July 1929 as Red Car East Holt. However, in 1937 the Holt was dropped and it was just named Red Car East. Since we got the both Transpal Express units passing through Red Car East, to be honest, I actually planned myself to be here for an hour, but I don't need to be here for an hour. So I'm actually going to start getting ahead of myself with my plan. So I'm going to catch the next train half an hour later that I came off from. So the next train I'm catching is the 1206 Northern Service to Saltburn, and the next station down the line is Longbeck. So we have now arrived at station number four that we're stopping off at today on our way towards Saltburn. This is Lombeck, and this is actually one of two stations in Mask by the Sea. The other station is Mask, and it's a 15 minute walk from Lombeck station. And also Lombeck is just your average two platform unstaffed northern station. But the one good thing about this railway station is it's got a lovely level crossing, which we do love a good level crossing, 
but it's also got a beautiful single box here as well. So the railway came through Lombeck in 1861, but Lombeck station didn't open till the 1980s. It opened on the 13th of May, 1985 by British Rail. But here's a question for you. What does Lombeck station and myself have in common? We're both 39 years old because this station is 39 years old. I'm actually filming this on the 15th of August, 2024, which is my 39th birthday. But I'm only going to have half an hour at Longbeck because I'm going to move on to the next station, which I could walk it, only takes 15 minutes, but I'll get the next train to Mask. So we have now arrived at the penultimate station in today's video. We have travelled from one side of the village to the other side of the village in Mask by the Sea. But this is the second station in Mask by the Sea we're stopping off at today. This is Mask. And there's one thing I've noticed about this area. The station actually splits up a residential area and also a lovely countryside area. But the station itself is your two platform unstaffed northern station, but it does have staggered platforms here as well. So Mask on the Sea does have two railway stations, Longbeck which opened in 1985, and Mask, which opened on the 19th of August 1861, when the line opened. So this is the oldest station in Mask. However, though, it was opened by the North Eastern Railway. But I have a feeling this may have been opened by the Stockton and Darlington Railway, because the next station I'm going to was opened by the Stockton and Darlington Railway on the same day as Mask station opened. So was Mask opened by the North Eastern Railway? was it opened by the Stockton and Darlington Railway. So between Mask and Saltburn, which is our next station we are going to next, there is a junction. And this junction is actually a freight only line which takes freight trains, because you do get freight trains on this route, to Skinning Grove Ironworks and Bulbury Potash Mine. Now this line used to be part of the Whitby Redcar and Middlesbrough Union Railway, which opened in 1883 but closed to passengers in 1958. Some of the line has been taken up, but some of the line has been used as part of this freight O line. So we now be leaving Mars Station out on our final train as we head to Saltburn, which is the end of the line. So we have now arrived at the final railway station, the terminus of the Tees Valley Line. This is Saltburn. And Saltburn has two platforms, but it's in an island platform configuration. Now, Saltburn did open on the 19th of August 1861 by the Stockton and Darlington Railway. However, though, the station building, which looks absolutely magnificent, didn't open until a year later in 1862. Sadly, that station building's not in rail use anymore, 
but it is in commercial use. So it has really been interesting today traveling from Middlesbrough to Saltburn on the Tees Valley Line. And you can also play this route on Trains in World 4 as well, or Trains in World 5 if that comes out. However though, we did see some Class 185 diesel multiple units between Redcar Central and Saltburn today. And it will be a real shame once the December timetable happens, because there will only be one train leaving Saltburn with Transpower Express, and there'll be only one train arriving into Saltburn with Transpower Express. 95% of the Transpower Express services will be cut back to Red Car Central. But it has really been fun traveling on the Tees Valley Line today. So I'm going to leave a little video right here. Feel free to give that a click. For people on screen now, YouTube channels and Patreon supporters, thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Simon Trace. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at a railway station for a new journey down the line.